Okay, so now that we have everything in place, what I'd like you to do is start designing each of the parts. So head over to the face, and what I'd recommend to make this easier is make sure that when you're looking at the front, it is saying front on the view cube, and it's like perfectly flat with how your face is set up. If by chance you're looking at your view cube, and let's say this was the front, and you didn't want that to be the front, or if this was the front, and you're like, no, that doesn't look like how Mr. Z has it. What I want you to do is just adjust your cube to what you want to be the front. So like, let's say I wanted this to be the front. And you right click on your view cube, you go to set current view as, and you set it to the front. And if you do that, then you're gonna have the same thing that I do. Okay, and on this surface, we're gonna start a 2D sketch on here. And then what you have to do is like, look at the details that makes your character. And what I'd recommend doing is anything like an eye or an eyebrow that shows up on the other side, we can actually mirror that. And I'm going to show you how to mirror that so we can get them exactly where we want them. Uh, but something that isn't symmetrical or something that's organic or just different, um, we're going to have to draw those in manually. So like, let's say the, uh, the smile, okay? I got the general idea of how it looks like. Um, it's going to be located relatively down here, and your goal is to try and make it uh, as accurate as possible. So you might have to refer back to that picture. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and draw the smile using the arc tool. And it actually looks like his smile is kind of arced there. Okay, um, so something like that. And then if you want to get those black lines in there, or whatever your character has, um, use offset and create an offset. And once again, you gotta kind of look back and forth from the picture, um, get it, and then you can move it if you need to. So select the whole thing and use the move command, and then base point uh, if you need to move it to get it more symmetrical or however you'd like. Uh, if you're not sure what the center of your face is, use the line tool and hover over the top of your object. A green dot should appear somewhere and that's the center of the object and I could use this green line as a reference so you can kind of see how your things uh, stack up to that. On if you like, so long as you have points, you can also like measure things out. So this is what, 0.204. This side is about 0.219, um, so if I wanted to, I could adjust this to 0.204 as well, uh, and I could try to make it more symmetrical that way, uh, if I'd like to just adjust this smile a little. Okay, um, so you can do that for the eyes. This person has, like, beady eyes, so I'll probably use an ellipse. Uh, ellipse is under circle. Um, it's relatively close. It's smaller than his smile and generally closer to his face. So something like that. And I'm just going to draw one because I'm going to mirror it. Uh, and then the nose is more organic. So I'm going to switch back to the arc tool. The nose seems to start not quite halfway up where his eyes are, um, but relatively like there. Kind of has like an inward arc and then kind of something like that. So, you know, this does require a little bit of finesse, a little bit of drawing, uh, but one thing you shouldn't be a stranger of in a design class is drawing, because we do a lot of drawing. Okay, um, so something like that would probably be okay. I'm going to adjust it because it does look a little wide compared to the picture I'm looking at. Okay. Um, this is what I got. And it might not be perfect the first time, but you know I'm going to draw it out once, and then we're going to adjust it. Um, I'm going to move this eye down some more because I think it's going to get... I think the eye... It's way too high. It should be probably over there. 
which would mean I'd have to move the nose somewhere like here. Okay. Okay, uh, eyebrow. The eyebrow for my character kind of is a little higher. Kind of does a very steep arc. Uh, but closes off really nicely on the side there. Okay, so something like that. And now the hair. The hair for something like this could be a little trickier um, because it's very organic. So you can make it with the arc tool, or if you'd like, you can try the spline tool. And the spline tool might actually be a better way to go. So what I recommend doing is having the picture next to you so that you can view it. And then you're going to, underneath the line tool, there's two spline options. And number two, the interpolation one, is considerably better than the control vertex one. So select that. And then just imagine like you're drawing your hair, uh, kind of like while looking at it, and just trying to get that relative shape. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just imagining what it looks like, or just looking at the side of my screen. Uh, and you can look at your paper. And I'm trying to draw in what the hair looks like. And I'm creating a bunch of points. Uh, the more points you have, the more control you have if it um, isn't what you like. Um, so I got up to this point. I'm going to hit the plus so you can see the flow. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm just doing that because it has a very steep here. So it's going to be hard to, to turn around unless I end it there and just create a new one. And then I'm going to draw in the second one. And I might have not gone out far enough. But I'm going to try to work with it. Okay. And the most annoying thing about this tool is that check mark plus thing follows you. Um, and it can kind of get in your way sometimes. Okay. So something like that. And then I'm going to use the line tool just to connect these two things together. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of an excess, so you can try and trim that off, uh, and it should hopefully let you. Okay, so that's the hair that I created first try. And now here's the cool thing: if you don't like how it looks, or if it didn't quite turn out the way you wanted to, um, you can actually grab these dots and you can adjust your hair. Um, and that's the the reason I like this option more than the other one. You can try out the other one. It's just a lot harder um, to, you know, to groom or to adjust things versus this one, which gives you a little more control. So yeah, this was much steeper. Okay, so go ahead, just mess around with this tool a little. Try to try to work on those adjustments. Wasn't that much over there, um, and get the hair the way you like it. Um, and if you have spiky hair, you can just use the line tool, of course. Um, and once you have that in place, let's just check. I don't think, yeah, it's a little too complex to do an offset. So you don't need to worry about those black lines over there because it would be too difficult uh, to recreate. We could use a copy. Um, but once again, that would require a copy and a scale. So let's just keep it at that. Uh, and it looks like I have all the detail I need. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this sketch. And let's go ahead and extrude out these objects first. So I'm going to go to Extrude. I'm going to click on the eyebrow, the eye, the nose, and the mouth. Yep. And I'm going to extrude each of these out just a really small amount. So I'm going to type in 0.02. Take a look. That looks fine. Uh, and I'm going to press OK. Once again, your sketch vanishes, but it's just hiding under the last extrusion you did. So hopefully you're getting better uh, at seeing that and turning it back on. And uh, let's go ahead and mirror the eye and the eyebrow, because you probably only have one. Uh, so we need a plane and two choices. You can go in your origin folder, and hopefully you have a plane that's in the center. Um, but maybe you don't. Like mine isn't in the center, and I don't want to deal with that. But I remember how long, or the width of my guy. So where it says plane over here, I want you to click on that down arrow and go to the option that says offset from plane. So what that's going to allow you to do is on any flat surface, like if I click here once, I can create a plane 
and I can move it to the center of my person. Okay, and the center for me is negative 0.5. I'm going to press OK, and now I have a plane that is cutting in the center. Okay, and I'm going to mirror. Oh, I'm going to mirror the eye and the eyebrow, but you might see there's a problem. Uh, because I did them in the same extrusion, it wants to ext or mirror everything. So I'm just going to go back real quick uh, where it says extrusion 2. I'm going to delete that extrusion, but I'm not going to delete the sketch, so I'm going to turn that off. Click OK. And now I'm going to extrude out just the nose and the mouth first. I'm going to go to extrusion 3, turn on the visibility of my sketch again, and now I'm going to extrude out the eye and the eyebrow. And now when I go to mirror, uh, I should be able to click both of these. Mirror plane, click on the plane, and if you do it correctly and press OK, there you go. You should be able to see it on both sides. Now, the hair. Might be a little trickier. I like using that word a lot. Uh, but just remember, hair doesn't all just stick out in front of you. It's kind of on your head. So you need to make sure the hair is on there. But we do want it to stick out probably just a little bit. So I'm going to go to Extrude, click on that. And I'm going to make sure that this time I'm using Option 4 right here, the asymmetric option. And what I want you to do, once that's selected, is make sure it's on the head of your character. So measure it out or type in the number if you have to. Mine's one inch. And then on the other side, just make it go out as much as the other thing. So 0.02 for me was fine. Uh, so I'm going to adjust that distance to 0.02. Okay? And if you press OK, your character should have a nice head of hair throughout. Okay. So that was the face of the character. If you think you have the general idea, go ahead and create the side of the head. And then meet me back here for part three so I can just show you how to mirror that over to save yourself a lot of work. So just make one side, how to mirror it over. And then after that, if you get the premise, uh, you can continue on and design the other components as well. Okay, so I'll see you in part three. Try to design the other half of the head. If you can't or if you want to watch a video of me doing it, uh, I'm going to create a supplement video for part two, which is going to be called part two optional, uh, that you can check out if you want to see me design the side. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video. I'll see you all uh, for one of the next ones. Peace.